What's good? Did the shorts close? Did they cover? Some of it. What are we talking about? All right. So I want to share this tweet by Ryan Williams. Um, you know, I rather share information like knowledge. That way you can see it for yourself and not just go off of the emotions of someone who isn't also not showing you anything. OK, I feel like this information is important for everyone to see. I'm talking about on both sides of the fence. All right. Um, and another thing I want to address, I posted a video before and this is confirming what I'm saying. Uh, I posted a, a video about video games and no, no traction, no activity, no bots attacking me. And the moment I post this video, you're going to probably see a bunch of people coming in there. But, 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 but these fucking bots and fucking weirdos, faceless motherfuckers with no content coming in, you know, wanting to comment and stuff like that. Because remember, people, we're being attacked by short sellers and they're paying off idiots who live in fucking huts in other countries that's attacking us with mobile data phone. And then the crazy part is some of you are believing these fuckers, thinking that they're really, truly human. They're really not truly humans, bro. Like, they're really not real people. I hope y'all understand some of these people that's hyping you up in your comment sections when y'all leaving, com leaving videos. Those ain't real people, bro. I'm telling you. Anyways, let's read this out real quick just to get that out. All right, so this is for those if you vote yes. All right, so he's been you know requested to give his thesis, so I just want to let you hear what he says here. If you vote yes to all three proposals we are aware of, you will be voting to strengthen the fundamentals of the organization and potentially allow AMC to become debt-free. This is dependent on how AA manages dilution, the dilution aspect after the reverse stock split. Your vote will allow the reverse stock split to go through and result in us having a significantly lower share count with an equivalent value. Initially, the float would be much small, but this could all change once AA releases shares into the market. This is this move could end the short thesis. Again, this is all dependent on how AA manages this move. So once again, as I mentioned, if you're voting yes, you're you know you're in a situation where you're saying, hey, I got a thousand Hondas. Nobody's buying these motherfuckers. They're not as valuable as ten Lamborghinis. However, I want shit. If I could make my shit, my thousand Hondas turn into ten Lamborghinis, because I'm not thinking like a broke motherfucker like some of you are thinking. I'm thinking like a fucking hustler. I want to sell my shit for the highest value. Okay, no matter if the float is smaller, if it's got a higher value. I'm happy. That's for those who are voting yes. All right. And yes, this will also kill the short thesis because guess what? That's why you're in this play because short uh, short sellers are betting that your company is not making money. All right. So don't prove them right. So here we go. Next page. Keep in mind at this point, AA could dilute, could continue to dilute AMC during run-ups, not allowing our price action to hit the highs we've been aiming for during the squeeze. Is this a bad thing for the organization? No, the organization, by the way. It's actually a great thing for the organization. All right. Is this good for us? It is if you're in this play for the long haul. Expect to see dividends. So, you know, think about this, man. Everything is happening right now. You got James Cameron saying, bring back movie theaters. Movies ain't dead. This and that. James Cameron. All right. Some of y'all need to really do your due diligence instead of just looking at just how much shares you got into play. Look at everything. OK, so uh, could we still have a squeeze? Yes. Would this allow for a Moaz? Potentially. This is where it gets tricky, right? AA would be empowered to continuously dilute, which may not allow us to hit the multi thousands per share we want to hit. The power would be in his hands. The more he dilutes, the lower our ownership may go down. So this confirms what I said. You got a thousand Hondas and, you know, if you want to, you know, get them thousand Hondas off, here go 10 Lamborghinis you can get. Right. So, you know, that's basically how why I kept my analogy and why my analogy still remains the same. You, some of you motherfuckers in the comments still thinking like a fucking car salesman. I'm thinking like a hustler. Okay. I need to get off this shit. All right. Uh, and yes, of course we want to see the Moaz. However, we, the, the best way to do this is we're trying to figure out how to kill the short thesis, which is making money in AMC. Okay. Which is adding value to our shit. So think about that. Now, 
That's for the, those that vote yes. Now, let's talk about those that vote no, okay? For those who say, I want to protect the Moaz. I want to protect the Moaz. Okay, well, let's, here we go. The no vote. This allow this would allow AA to dilute a ape to raise capital, but we'll still keep our AMC float continuous, having owning the float. We would maintain power that we have today. Okay. AA would not be able to issue AMC shares without our approval, but can still release billions of ape. With this result, the organization would rely on new revenue streams being created. Increase in consumer demand, consumption, tickets and concessions, more movie releases, investments, Highcroft and others to slowly pay off the outstanding debt. This will not immediately end the short thesis, but in time, I believe it will. We will be attacked and war will continue. I do not fear this outcome as the global economy is crashing. We're seeing it occur now. Boom. This confirms what I said. If you're going to keep making videos, making tweets, making posts, making Reddit posts, talking about AA is this and oh, and he don't care about this and I'm voting no. Well, if you're saying all of this, why aren't you buying movie tickets? Why aren't you putting money into AMC? Why are you sounding like a fucking doofus all the fucking time? Y'all need to stop it because you're believing in other fucking clowns that don't show you what they look like. Okay, that's why I keep trying to say this a hundred times without saying certain shit. I'm trying to save some of y'all. Okay, I'm trying not to get there. All right, but this is like I said, this is the last video I'm gonna make about this because it's plain and plain to see right here, and it's evident I've been saying this the entire time. So if you're voting no, yes, you'll have all your shares. But you will also need to be making sure that you are buying movie tickets, you know, uh, you know, spending money at AMC, making sure you're promoting it, showing that you're going to the movies. You got to do that. You have to do that. It is essential for you to kill the short thesis. You cannot sit here and cry every fucking day and not and, and expect them to not do anything about this. So let's just remember that. So let's continue. These fake crypto and market pump dumps, housing market suffering, new home inventory highs, home sales down 32%, the Fed's increasing rates while mortgage demands at lows, bank reporting billions in credit losses, pensions vanishing, massive layoffs already being reported, credit card debt skyrocketing, hedge funds over leverage across the board, etc. As I said, I do not fear this outcome. Is this good for us? Yes, a no vote is good for us. Yes. Would this scenario still allow us to have the MOAS? Yes. Would AA be able to dilute AMC to control the price action during the MOAS? No. Like I said, it doesn't matter which way you go. Okay. I'm thinking like a hustler. However, like I said, if you're not buying mega bags, if you're not buying movie tickets, if you're not killing the short thesis, you're wasting your fucking time. All right. So with that being said, people, oh, he got one more last thing he wanted to say. Final thoughts. All right. I again, I do not believe AMC is on a path to bankruptcy. It is shown in stronger. It has shown stronger fundamentals of organization. I 100 percent support AA as a CEO and trust he'll continue to run the organization as needed to be successful. Is he necessarily focused on the MOAS? I don't believe so. But that's not what a great CEO will be focused on. A great CEO will be focused on the health of the organization and keeping in mind its shareholders, increased value of shareholder shares, dividends, etc. But this but is not in the form of a MOAS. Hope this helpful. Hope this is helpful. Hope you digest proposal. So he has to talk to those who like to read and see information and stuff like that, like some of us. But like I said, this confirms what I've been saying. You need to go out and kill the short thesis if you're voting no. If you're voting yes, you're solely dependent on AA being smart. He already kind of lost that trust by going to, you know, letting AM, uh, Ape go down to 66 cents and dilute at that point. So I understand if you don't trust it. But my thing is this. If you don't have a solution, your solution needs to be making sure that you are purchasing, killing the short thesis. Everybody on Twitter is going to the movies. And if you're solely dependent on those on Twitter that's going to the movies, you have you have the wrong you're in the wrong play. 
You need to make sure you're also buying movie tickets. You're also buying mega bags. You're killing the short thesis. That's what this is about. Killing the short thesis. That's what I'm going to name this uh, video as well. But keep in mind, that's what this is all about. It doesn't matter about, you know, feelings here or there. This is about making money. All right. You need to have solutions. Both sides need to have solutions. OK, so remember, if you're voting, yes, you're dependent on Adam Aaron to do what he needs to do. OK, you're, that's, you're solely dependent on this. Now, if you trust him, then that's great. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you're going to have less shares, but they're going to have high value and we will bounce up and we'll most likely take care of the debt like that. Like, whoop, like, get out of here, debt. Goodbye. But if you're like, I want all my shares, I want all my shares. OK, then you're going to hold a little bit longer. You're going to hold for a long, a longer time. OK, however, in that time, you need to be making sure that you're doing movie reviews, popcorn reviews, or I don't give it. It doesn't matter. Put it out there. But the moment y'all keep complaining and crying about AA for three, four or five weeks, it is it just make you look like you're you don't give a fuck about the play and you're a shill and you're what you were paid or sent here. The rest of us, we been understood this for weeks, for weeks. And here we are. We're still holding the hands of a few grown men that can't handle and do fucking due diligence. So that's all I'm going to say. It is what it is. And if anybody feels a certain type of way, don't worry. I'm in Twitter jail. I'm in Facebook jail. I'm not on YouTube jail. I will love to create more music. So with that being said. Did the shorts cover? Did they close? No? <sighs> Come on, bots. I'm ready for you.